Hi guys and welcome back to Gamertech. Today we've just got a quick unboxing as we take a look at Mophie's wireless charging dock. This is a 7.5 watt capable charger, designed to work with Apple's iPhone 8, 8 Plus and 10, and is actually one of the two wireless chargers endorsed by Apple for this purpose. But of these two options, I decided to take a look at Mophie's design, since this is black and I have the space grey iPhone 8. Now the reason I say 7.5 watt capable is because currently the device is only able to produce a 5 watt output, since the faster 7.5 watt charging is being released as part of iOS 11.2 in the coming weeks. I'll have a full performance review of this, including a comparison to standard and fast charging in a separate and upcoming video. So for now, let's get this unboxed, check out its features and see just how well it performs. Now at the front of the box we can see the puck-like design, and the fact that this is designed to work with Apple's latest iPhones on the rear. But otherwise we have a clean and simple look, which I guess makes sense for a product like this that doesn't need much of an explanation. So now we can pull this rubber tab to slide the inside of the box from the sleeve, and right at the top is the charger itself. So as I mentioned, the dock is shaped like a puck, and I actually really like this. The dock is made of high quality materials, with enough weight to give the dock a premium feel without bordering on becoming too heavy. We have the Mophie logo on the surface, an LED indicator at the front, and opposite this is the AC power adapter port. The plastic has a rubberized finish and provides a non-slip surface, so you won't have your phone sliding off whilst it's charging. As for accessories, we only have the power adapter and the instruction manual. There's no real need to actually read this, as most of the important information is contained in these three diagrams. Simply plug in the charger, lay your phone on top, and you're good to go. So once your phone is in contact with the charger, the white LED indicator will illuminate, to indicate that the phone is charging. A useful feature to let you know that the positioning of your phone on the charger is OK. Another good thing about the LED indicator is that it shines downwards onto the surface, so there's no chance that your phone will cover this up. Whereas this is a potential issue with the Belkin wireless charger. Obviously we have quite a small surface area, so you do have to ensure that you lay your phone fairly centrally on the dock, and don't leave too much hanging over. With a spherical design though, you do have the freedom to lay your phone down at any orientation on the surface so you don't really have to be that precise when you place your phone down. After using this device for the past couple of weeks, I have to say that I haven't found any problems with this, and you do have quite a large margin for placement. One thing I would have quite liked to see is the LED indicator turning off when charging is complete, or perhaps some coloured light indicators to show the level of charging completion. Unfortunately, we just have a single indicator for when the phone is charging. So not a huge issue, but it would have been a nice touch. Also, if you consider the fact that there are no such indicators with the phone's included charging accessories, then we aren't really missing out at all. So the only other thing to discuss is the performance. After your phone makes contact with the device, charging begins instantly, so there's no lag time here at all. Wireless charging is supported up to a distance of a few millimetres away, which meant that I was able to leave my phone case on. And as for the charging time, I recorded each test time from the moment the phone ran out of battery and the screen turned blank right up to the moment that 100% battery was reached. And with this method I was recording charging times of just over two and a half hours. Comparably, the average charging time using the iPhone's included accessories gave just under two and a half hours, and overall I found that wireless charging took roughly 10 minutes longer to complete. I was quite surprised by these results, and did expect that charging wirelessly would take considerably longer to complete. The difference from standard charging was negligible, so I really saw no disadvantages to using the easier and simpler wireless charging. Considering that these results have come from the 5 watt output, as opposed to the upcoming 7.5 watt output, I'd say that the future certainly looks good for wireless charging. And as I've said before, full charging comparisons including with the 7.5 watt charging output will be featured in an upcoming video after Apple release iOS 11.2, and I'll leave that video linked in the description below. Overall, the Mophie wireless charger works really well, and the great thing is that it's only going to get better in the future. The colour matches really well with the space grey iPhone, and I do prefer the small and compact design versus the much larger Belkin wireless charger. 
So that's it for this video. If you're interested then please check out some of the other videos on the channel, using these links or in the video description below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and comment any questions or suggestions you may have. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything else from GameAttack.